I know 2023 has just started, but this could already be one of my most favorite sneakers of the year already. What's up fam, thanks once again for tuning into the channel. This is Geek Squad where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're gonna to be talking about these babies right here. I know you guys have seen this one. It's kind of been mixed opinions and feedback about it, but this is the Adidas Addy Foam Superstars. This is like the shell toes, man. Like the futuristic shell toes, that's what I like to call it. First of all, I wanna say that the original Adidas shell toes or the superstars. I did like them, but I never really wanted to wear them because there were so many other sneakers already there and, uh, and like I just didn't want to go back to the original. So I always wanted to try something new, but this has kind of bridged that gap of making me like wear Adidas shell toes again. They're not exactly the same, obviously. That's what they're inspired from, the Adidas shell toes, man. And it's like, man, ugh. I don't know, just the simplicity of it has just got me so hooked. But before we get into that, let's talk about IP Royal. Okay guys, it's no secret that getting the hypest releases will involve getting a sneaker bot. Anyways, an essential component to copying with a sneaker bot are residential proxies. What it does, it provides you with privacy by changing your current IP address to something else. Because if your sneaker bot gets busted, well, you know what that means, you'll be banned for life from that actual website and of course, you won't get your sneakers. So it's really important to mitigate that risk by getting a sneaker proxy that you can trust. And just like how the Avengers teamed up, I have teamed up with IP Royal. So copying the hyper sneakers is so much easier when you have a sneaker proxy. It changes your IP to the local IPs that are familiar with the retailer. Not only does it provide you with a local IP, it actually lowers your latency, giving you an even higher chance to cop those sneakers. But if you don't bot just like I don't, well that's okay because you can still use IP Royals proxy to add another layer of privacy to your IP. And this is great for copying items from different different time zones so you can set it forget about it and you can get some sleep and still cop and IP Royal has generously provided a 50% coupon code for you guys all you got to do is go onto their website choose one of their Royal residential proxies press create new order put in the coupon code and that's it you're done so check out IP Royal for your sneaker proxies let's get back to the video so you can probably already see that I've already worn it in my initial reactions to this were probably really negative I will talk about straight away the sizing of this thing. So I got this probably around the same time as I bought my Sambas. And if you haven't watched my video, you can check it up here. Why I didn't really like the Sambas, but this was going to be totally something different. But I bought this, this sort of with the same mentality of sizing as the Sambas. Because I was thinking, ah, you know, with all my Yeezys and stuff that I bought in the past, they were all size 9, so I'm going to go size 9 in this. And boy, was I wrong. It's, uh, when I when I actually bought this sneaker, there was very few reviews out online yet. So it was kind of hard to gauge the sizing of it. But since I haven't bought an added a sneaker in a while, especially because I only really buy Yeezys, my sizing kind of expertise on the actual sneaker is kind of really off. So I just basically went for what I remember with my Ultra Boosts and also my NMDs back in the day. That was years and years and years ago. And I always got a size either eight and a half or a nine. And uh, those were perfect for me. And my Yeezys are a size nine. So I went obviously with a size nine, but gosh, was I so wrong. I should have sized up at least to a size 10 or even a 10 and a half. It's so, so snug. There was no way of me actually knowing that. I really highly recommend you guys try it in store. Or if you do have foam runners, so if you have original foam runners just like this, I would probably say that they go the same sizing. Like this one, I got a size nine when I should have got a size 10. Just like this, it was a size nine, but I should have got a size 10. But what's really cool about it is if you take the insole out, the Ortholite insole, which is this one right here, 
and it's an ortho light because you could read it there it says ortho light right there before i continue this is so comfortable this is probably the only real reason why i was able to keep the shoes on for so long because these were so comfortable but you could take these out so you can remove them from the actual uh sneaker and it really does look like a shell literally it's all just like kind of foam and all that kind of stuff and you can take it off and when you take it off it's so much easier it's oh my feet can breathe man when i was walking around like this shopping center around with it feet were killing me so much because they were too small but when you once you take out the ortho light it's all good baby i mean it's not as comfortable obviously you have two two holes here for ventilation on the medial side i don't know it's pretty useless because it doesn't really provide you with that much ventilation because when i was wearing this at work for a while with socks on on a normal day like not a hot day my feet were still kind of perspiring a little bit that could all change if if i got the actual right size but from the opinions of other people that i've gotten from the past yeah it's like a sweat box in there man especially on a hot day it really does get pretty sweaty so it's always a really good idea to actually wear socks while wearing these and um if you guys have the fear of god californias these are probably pretty similar you're not wearing it for the ventilation obviously you're wearing it for the cool factor like i am because my feet don't generally get sweaty but they got a little sweaty in these but it's okay because i had socks on but if we're going to take a really quick 360 on the sneakers you could see that it's very very plain very very plain and minimal like hardly any like real details on it but if you look really closely you could see that it's got like that 3d print effect so just like the the adidas adilette slides yeah they look they they have that sort of same 3d printed texture you could see the lines going all the way across it down there and yeah it looks like it's actually printed but i think it's just made out of foam which is so dope man i, I swear i love the look of it it's just i got the sizing wrong so i'm looking probably to even buy another pair of this but in the right size but and also definitely getting the black colorway and if you look from behind Man, you gotta tell me, that's almost like Alexander McQueen sneakers. So, I don't know, when I just look at this sneaker, I, there's so many cool vibes with it. I've already had a lot of, like, good kind of feedback regarding It's like, oh, what are you wearing? What are those? And all that. Oh, they actually look sick in person. Because some people, when they look at this, they think it's too plain and minimal. It doesn't really look that good. But when you actually see it on foot, bro, it's totally, oh, it's beastie, man. It's so sick, man. I love these sneakers. And... You could definitely catch me wearing these a lot more, especially when I'll go uh, traveling around because they're so easy. They are so light, guys. So easy to clean as well. So definitely another big favorite of mine coming into 2023. You'll definitely see me <laughs> wearing these a lot. The tread on it, so I don't think this is obviously not really good for sports, uh, especially with all that kind of, I don't know, it's kind of lacking tread on that back heel part there, but who cares? I'm only wearing it to look good anyway. What I love about it as well, because this one is just so plain and simple, it's so easy to wear with and everything. Like it's it's just so easy to wear with all these kind of different outfits. And I don't know, from all the sneaker bloggers or sneaker stylists or sneaker hours or like fashion outfit people, they always say to go for a really minimal sneaker just like this one in the leather version. But this is like I don't know for me this is like an upgraded version you don't even need um what do you call shoelaces anymore for them they're just oh man it's just this is such a vibe man if you guys don't like this oh man you guys are missing out you got to try it out first try something different i wasn't really gonna go for this but man when i saw how sleek and minimal the design was man it was a no-brainer and like even the sizing can't even put me off in this <laughs> and that's what i like about it even wide footers it's still okay because material kind of hides your wide foot <laughs> in a way so it doesn't look like you're bursting out kind of thing so there's like a really wide base but yeah i really like to get your thoughts on it are these sneakers that you're thinking about getting in the future let me know in the comments below but man like i thought i wouldn't be able to wear thick socks with this because they were too small but once i did the whole uh insult trick and took it out man i could wear the coziest the coziest socks with these now and like i don't even really have to care about them getting dirty because they're so easy to clean y'all yeah so anyway guys thanks once again for watching this video i hope you liked it if you learned something please give me that big thumbs up if you like the sneaker content and all that stuff in general please consider subscribing to the channel anyway guys thank you once again for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Thank you.